And honestly, if anyone would ask me for a tip how to overcome it and like be stronger and like keep on doing what you love. Hey guys and welcome to the vlog. Today is a special video. Today I want to take time and talk about something that is something important for every music producer and DJ out there. If you're already a long time follower of my DJ and producer vlog since the beginning, like well, four years ago where I started sharing with you my life and what I do on a daily basis, the struggle, and all of the successes. And I have to say the last year was extremely good to me. A new studio with like two studios in it, A and B. A is under construction at the moment. A huge office, like a vocal booth, and now just yesterday we got a new apartment, so like this is maybe one of the last times you'll actually see the old one. And I'm happy, I mean really, really happy, because it's like as a music producer, as a DJ, as a self-employed person, there are so many struggles you have to overcome. Like I personally grew up in a family, both parents artists, so uh, not a whole lot of money, especially like the first 16 years of my life, just fighting and like making my music, making it better, being a ghost producer, then eventually making my own music and like making money with it. And in between every single day, I was so close to giving up, so close to driving myself nuts by asking myself, is this really what I want? Is that the right path? And every single thing I did was so extremely risky. I could have failed any second. My bank account, zero minus and then more minus and I, I got money from friends to help me out for a month or two then I could pay them back and then again like every month I was struggling to pay rent to pay like for food and all this kind of stuff and all of that pressure is really just like hurting and even affecting your music and making it eventually worse or you start overthinking because you're in a bad position and you're questioning yourself all the time so there's a lot of mental stuff, a lot of pressure on someone that is choosing this as a career path. Of course, not for the ones that just make a song, it's an instant hit and they're millionaires. That's like the dream everyone like wants to achieve, but that's not the reality. I'd say 99.9% .9 will never ever even succeed making music for a living. So I'm already very, very fortunate to be among this 0.1%. I'm extremely happy about it, but I've also fought and done and worked a lot to get there. I mean, if you don't trust me, it's all here on this channel. Just go back. It's like really stopping ghost producing, starting my own label, employing people, like building the studio space and like all of the contracts that failed, all the money people didn't pay me all of the suing people and like getting lawyers, it's all here on this channel. And especially if you now consider more than a year later after Avicii's death, which really rose a lot of awareness for mental health issues in general, but also specifically for DJs, because the touring is very, very stressful. Some people are studio nerds and don't want to perform. Some people want to perform, but then don't have the productions to actually get there. It's a really weird and screwed up kind of system that probably breaks a lot of backs of people that try to get there. And honestly, if anyone would ask me for a tip how to overcome it and like be stronger and like keep on doing what you love, it's really hard. Like I, I actually don't even know how I did it myself. If I now look back onto the past years, it was just a constant struggle, never giving up, always fighting and kind of having conversations with yourself, telling yourself, come on, man, just do it. Just like one more day, two more days, one more week, just like one more customer, like just trying to sell one more song, finishing one more song, releasing it. And like, just keep on doing that. I think you have to be a little bit crazy to actually pursue a life as, as a producer. So my number one tip would be to just not give up. And if you love it enough, you just won't give up. 
because there's a lot of time you already spend learning how to make music and how to advance and build up your brand and career. If you stop, you lose all of it. So the more you invest into it, the more likely it is that you will actually stay there and do it and make more and eventually hit that point where it works as a career. And if it doesn't work, maybe you weren't like dedicated enough because I think there is room to achieve what you're dreaming about just by being dedicated. Today, I also want to address like a second part because mental health, like it's, it's like a struggle, but that's something I could usually deal with. Maybe because both of my parents are artists and I know how it is like to be self-employed and to fight for so many years. So I know what it feels like to not have money and not getting paid every month and like having to stretch the things for, for like three, four months just to get through a bad phase or people not paying you. But there is one thing I, I neglected entirely, especially since I got the new studio a year ago and I started building it. I was so focused on making that studio work and paying the rent that was like 10 times higher than before. And this gave me so much pressure that I spent honestly 24 seven, just working, grinding, building up things, trying to make money, establishing uh, new businesses, for example, a DJ school, renting out a studio partially. And this really stressed me out to a certain level. And like a couple of months ago, I just stopped hustling that hardcore, employed more people. And I also started focusing on producing my own album. This was a dream. So I made sure that other people take over certain parts of like just answering emails, business stuff, so that I could focus on producing the music. And like a month ago, I hit the point where the album was at least in my head finished. Like I got all of the lyrics, all of the vocals, all of the layouts. It's, it's just about like the final mixing and actually finishing them. Then I finally had the time to tackle the next huge problem. And that next huge problem was that I just got fat. Like I gained 15, almost 15 kilograms. So 30 pounds around within a year from having the studio till three months ago. It's crazy, like huge difference. I, I then just switched and focused all of my free time that was available on eating healthy, like crazy healthy. At the moment, I'm not even considering processed food, so no added sugar, nothing that is like, that you can actually buy in a store finished and just open and eat. Just like vegetables, fruits, and sometimes rice, um, a lot of quinoa and like really just extremely healthy, almost no meat, maybe once a week chicken or maybe two times a week. And I'm feeling so much better. It's like like the biggest change, like, like the physical change I've ever went through. I lost all of the weight. So I'm now down almost 16 kilograms, so more than 30 pounds. I'm still not quite there yet, just a little bit more and then I'm all good again. I started exercising again, every second day running, every second day like at home with these resistant bands, just a little bit like time efficient. There is no way I can go to a gym, drive there, be there, drive back. So I'm trying to make it time efficient because I still have to like do all of my music production stuff. And I think this, this um, mental health part, we talked about it and this was, greatly covered and I think everyone is aware of it but like the physical part is really not talked about that much like there are so many producers that sit in their chair the entire day and we humans are not made for sitting people are just staring at a computer screen 24 7 and it's just bad for us plus then just eating shit sugar McDonald's Nutella and yes I'm guilty of all of that it just changes a lot if you leave these things out. You save a ton of money, you save a lot of time because even the fast food isn't actually fast because you still have to drive there, drive back. And at home, it's just there, you just cook it. You are way more connected to your food. You exactly know what you're eating and uh, there is no way for me to go back now that I actually did it. So be aware of this, 
Think about what you're eating. Think about what you're doing. If you're sitting eight hours in a studio, just maybe stand up every once in a while, walk around, maybe take a day off and just enjoy yourself, go out with friends, do some exercises outside and stuff like that. It really, really helps. Speaking of exercises, I started like running again. I already wear my running stuff. It's cold outside, like really cold. So I will probably <laughs> need the mask. But as I said, I look like a criminal, but um, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's see. In Germany, no one shoots you, like no police shooting. This doesn't happen at all. So I think I'm fine. But yeah, it, it really helps me to focus. Like I, I spend every second day, half an hour to an hour just running outside. I can listen to music, really focus. And whenever I come back and stop running, I feel so much better, so like pumped, but at the same time relaxed and relieved. I sleep a lot better. And then the rest of the day, I mean, I, I lost half an hour or an hour a day or every second day, but I gain so much energy and focus that it is worth it. It makes up for it. So please consider taking care of your mental health and physical and both together combined will ensure that you're more focused and will actually get closer to your goal, making music and, and being successful with it. And this is also for the ones that are already successful because they also tend to get fat because then they get like the good food and can just do whatever. Just, just try to like control yourself a little. Anyway, speaking about exercises, I will now go outside, try to run my first 10K plus. Wish me a whole lot of luck. And the rest of the day is really, really extremely boring. I will just probably sit here or on the couch and go through all of the samples that I recorded in the past couple of days. I was working on a sample pack, the biggest one I've ever made. I went through all of my productions, bounced out every single little snippet to provide it to you, to use it as a starting point for your songs. Highest quality, like I, I tried to make it as good as possible. It will be actually available tomorrow. Today is just going through it, checking it, naming everything and putting it into the right um, order. And then tomorrow you will have access to it and hopefully be able to make music with it that inspires you to come up with new things. So thanks a lot for watching. I will now go outside and give my best. Thanks a lot. See you tomorrow back in the studio. Sign up.